My name is MC Snores, and I'm in the studio today with DJ Snooze. Yeah. We about to break down a little song we like to call Franklin. Everybody talks about Hollywood, West Coast, East Coast, New York, it's all good. I'm gonna bring it to you at another rate. Yo, Sn hey everybody, how you doing? Um, haven't made a video in a while. Uh, but, uh, I figured I'd make one here. Um, after the storms rolled in, um, about a week ago, um, we're still feeling the effects. I mean, most people were out of power for three to seven days. Um, there's still a few without power now. Um, and uh, a lot of things are disrupted. Uh, the place where I work, the store, um, we're, we were the only ones in this area um, in our uh, chain of stores that uh, had power. Um, most of them in this area were just completely out, lost all their perishable items, and uh, it took a while to get those stores back up, and uh, we were hit pretty hard because of that. Um, even now, uh, this week, we're still running behind on our trucks. Our trucks are about 24 hours behind. Um, there's still a lot of issues, roads closed, um, streets, street uh, lights out, um, police not taking reports, and yeah, it was, it was a pretty good storm, but it wasn't anything major, you know, it, 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 to me it seemed like, you know, the city could have, the city and state could have handled it, handled it a little bit better, um, use different resources to uh, get things rolling faster for repairs and, and to help people out. Um, a lot of the older folks that didn't have power or AC um, had some deaths. But this just shows you that the, the uh, way that everything's set up and, and the infrastructure of each city and state is not capable of handling a situation that would be a mass outage. Uh, the ice company uh, that supplies our store couldn't keep up with it. They had to have ice flown in from California to service our stores. They took one pallet of ice to every store um, that they service, uh, which didn't last but a couple hours, you know, maybe a day at the least. Um, I don't think they're still back up to, to running full capacity. Uh, our dairy uh, was running on just generator, um, so that forced them to, uh, trucks were running late, um, we have a markdown procedures that we follow that um, 10 days out we start marking milk down. Um, we were told don't do that, uh, wait for two days before it expires to uh, mark it down. Um, still in effect because it, we're not back at full capacity uh, here. But it just shows you just something sporadic through this area, you know, didn't hit every area. Didn't hit every area hard, just, you know, here and there. How it just affects everything um, on your day-to-day -day life. You know, a lot of people went without their power, lost food, um, just not prepared, you know. Our store lost power for a couple hours, people were panicking. Um, getting upset because they couldn't get anything. Uh, this time, instead of waiting the three to four hours to start pulling 
product, they automatically start pulling at two hours, um, which caused some issues, uh, which I can't get into, but uh, that caused issues at our store. Um, but the, the point I wanted to make about this video is just these minor little inconvenience storms that roll through and you know people people just aren't prepared for it the city aren't, isn't prepared the state isn't prepared companies aren't prepared I mean how do you how do you run out of ice uh, like they did it, it's not a major uh, outage it, it just it doesn't seem to me like anything's in place if, if, if a major disaster would to take place. Um, like I said, uh, you know, my trucks that I work normally is in, in our store between 10 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, now we're getting them the next morning, you know, so that just shows you something minor. Um, you know, and, and to some people this wasn't minor, it was major to them, personally. Um, you know, we were without power here, but it really, it didn't affect my family here because, you know, we were prepared for anything. You know, so, you gotta keep on your toes for, for what's coming at us next, you know. You got, you got a lot of these states that's filing bankruptcy now, you gotta look at that. Follow it in the news, you know. Uh, I can see things heading down. Um, I thought it would happen a lot quicker, you know, and I've discussed with a lot of my friends uh, here on the net and, you know, my close personal friends, you know, and a lot of us talked about how we thought it was going to go pretty quick. Um, but if you're paying attention to it, it is going. It's just going a lot slower than what people thought. Um, Will we make it to the next election? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think that uh, if we do, um, that will just push it even quicker. I mean, I'm not happy with uh, any of them. Uh, I don't like any of the, the people that uh, are running at this point in time. Um, will I vote? I don't know. Uh, I should, but do I compromise what I believe in and vote for somebody that I don't think is capable? Um, do I write somebody in? I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I wish we could uh, all come together and, and come up with a, a candidate that we can write in and uh, see what we can do. Um, if we could find somebody out there, anybody, it, it, it doesn't matter anymore to me about their their political background, it it matters to me their personal um, integrity and how they conduct themselves and what they believe in, um, whether we should have somebody in office, because right now that's what's at stake here is, is our integrity, um, yours, mine, this whole country. Um, we need to, to do something. Well, I, I don't know. I don't have the answers. I'm looking for answers. Um, hopefully I can come up with something and uh, we can all talk about it and, and do something. But I think uh, the best bet right now is to look for people that we can all agree on that, I mean, even we don't totally agree, just agree for the most part. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't have anything to say about anybody that's running because they're not what I am looking for. So what what am I looking for? I don't know. I guess when uh, I find that person, I'll know. But um, I just wanted to share that uh, bit of information that I have, and uh, hopefully everybody out there is doing pretty good and uh, staying prepared. And maybe uh, you ought to buckle down a little bit more. Um, I'll be putting a video up here probably within the next week about my garden. Um, doing really well. Uh, producing a lot of different things out of it. We're, we're canning and eating, eating a lot out of the garden. Uh, it's really doing well this year, but uh, that's another video. But I uh, appreciate you subbing to me and uh, watching my videos. Uh, but uh, stay safe and uh, keep 
prepping people. Thanks. Bye.